all right guys welcome back to our ko breakdown series today we're gonna be analyzing floyd money mayweather versus arturo gatti well this was actually back in 05 14 years ago so this was before money mayweather this was actually pretty boy floyd and this bout took place at 140 pounds so this was one of the most i guess electrifying performances of floyd mayweather's career so the first thing that arturo gatti tried to do was constantly throw that jab and he constantly threw it and the reason why he would do this is because he wanted to get close enough to floyd mayweather to stay on the inside and make it a fight in which he would actually have the upper hand so he wanted to fight on the inside but of course floyd mayweather knowing him and the tactician that he is he didn't really let arturo gatti set up so every time arturo gatti would step in with that jab trying to close the distance floyd mayweather would take a step back or take a lateral step to once again open up the bout and keep arturo gatti at a distance in which he felt more comfortable and where he could control the fight so here it is arturo gatti tries to throw that jab and as you guys see floyd mayweather is pretty much taking a step back so this step going backwards pretty much neglects the whole point of the jab which was of course to close in the distance so Gatti was throwing that jab to close the distance enough for him to smother up Floyd Mayweather or throw some power shots as you guys can see the distance pretty much opens up so the jab that Arturo Gatti threw was pretty much in vain so this pretty much leaves both fighters back to square one now Arturo Gatti pretty much has to jab again in hopes of trying to get on the inside of Floyd Mayweather Gotti can't beat him at this at this distance or this pace for sure. A uh, key to Floyd Mayweather's victory was of course the left hand, especially that left hook. So this left hook, Floyd Mayweather constantly threw throughout the whole bout, especially when Arturo Gatti was coming in. So every time Arturo Gatti would actually step in with a punch, Floyd Mayweather was ready to counter or strike at him with this devastating left hook. Sometimes he would use it as a check hook or sometimes he would actually kind of sit on it and land a very powerful left hook to the face or to the body. What made it easier for Floyd Mayweather to land this left hook was the mere fact that Arturo Gatti would actually come in in a straight line. So all Floyd Mayweather had to do was pretty much time him as he was coming in. So here once again, you guys see Arturo Gatti come in with that jab, step in. And here Floyd Mayweather, it seems like he's taking a step back, but he's actually going to throw this left hook right here. And he lands it quite cleanly. And right now we're actually going to show you guys one of the knockdowns. I mean, the only knockdown of the fight that actually happened in the first round. So this was actually in round number one and as you guys could see Floyd Mayweather has all of his weight on the back of Arturo Gariz's neck and from this position Floyd Mayweather will land a right uppercut and a left hook that lands cleanly and here after this freeze frame you guys will actually see Arturo Gatti kind of protest and Floyd Mayweather would hit him with a left hook and the referee would proceed to give him the count so yeah man this was actually the only knockout knockdown of the fight to make the point to Floyd. And Floyd hits Arturo with a left hook on the break. And now there's a knockdown in round one. And Gatti can't believe that. Six, seven, eight. Come on, Gatti. Let's fucking go. Keep your head up. So pretty much Floyd Mayweather neutralized Gatti's jab with his left hook. And another key factor to Floyd Mayweather's victory was, of course, his hand speed. So there was instances where Floyd Mayweather would actually land a very fast, solid power punch on Arturo Gatti. And then, of course, there were instances where he would actually set up combinations, very fast, solid, powerful combinations. And, of course, Gatti had no solution to this problem. And eventually, all of these punches actually did accumulate a lot of damage on Gatti's face. And eventually, of course, his corner would actually stop the bout. But these are a lot of the combinations that actually landed on Arturo Gatti. And there was even an instances, sadly enough, where Floyd Mayweather pretty much landed four power punches. I mean, four crosses back to back. So one, two, three, four. So this was pretty much a total domination by pretty boy Floyd. Here you see that, like we said earlier, one straight right hand. Jab, jab, another straight right hand, another hook. The accumulation of punches would eventually lead to the stoppage of this fight. Gotti's corner would not allow him to continue after the sixth round. But before I actually show you guys that clip, I want you guys to pretty much see the final key to Floyd Mayweather's victory over Arturo Gatti's, which was, of course, the inside pivot. So Floyd Mayweather would actually pivot on to his right side or to the outside of the left side of Arturo Gatti, which pretty much would leave him in a superior angle where he was able to strike with left hooks and right hands. 
and leaves pretty much Gadi out of position where he can't necessarily see his opposition. So right now I'm actually going to show you guys that in slow motion and a little bit more detailed. So here you guys see that both fighters are actually standing in a very straight line. So from this position, both of these fighters have the same amount or same equal opportunity in landing punches on one another. Floyd Mayweather will actually take control of Gadi's neck and kind of start pivoting or turning towards his right side or the left side of Arturo Gadi. From this position here, he will actually continue by throwing kind of like a small little left hook kind of just to help him pivot onto the right side. So here you guys see him now on the right side or the left side of Arturo Gatti and here he pretty much has the freedom to land across or whatever combination he actually pleases without having to worry about any strike from Arturo Gatti's behalf so right now you guys will actually see him throw like a right hand left hook right hand left hook combination so pretty smart tactic and here it is once again but with a little bit more focus on the punches themselves but of course the inside pivot is also implemented in this little clip that I will be analyzing here. So this will actually show how smart Floyd Mayweather actually is as well. So first of all he throws that right hand, he pivots onto the inside and as you guys can see from this position he's actually going to throw a left hook to Arturo Gariz's face. And this is how smart Floyd Mayweather is. With his right hand he moves Gariz's left arm that was protecting his body. And this will allow Floyd to have an opening and sneak in a right hand to the body. So he throws a left hook and then he throws the right hand to the body that he exposed and the right hand to the head. It's a very, very smart combo by Floyd Mayweather. Come on, baby. No, no. I'm telling you. Don't tell. Look at me. Your eyes closed. Your eyes closed. You're taking some too much. Come on. Come on. Come on. I told y'all. You don't get that. Look. So pretty much this will actually be the end of this KO breakdown episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and well tell me any other video that you guys would actually want me to break down whether it be a street fight or an actual bout. If you guys you guys could hit me up on Instagram or you guys could actually send me a email at apexdreamer01 at gmail.com. So that will pretty much be it till next time.